How to paint waves. I start by staining my canvas orange to complement the blue we'll be painting on top. I then mix up a palette consisting of warm white, three different shades of teal, and two different shades of ocean blue. I start with my warm white in the foreground of the canvas to look like sea foam. I continue up the canvas with my lighter blue until I get about a third of the way up. I then go in with my medium teal to express the wave starting to turn at the bottom. To express the wave turning, I leave some space to the right. I then stack some of my dark teal on top to express that deep wave shadow. I sandwich that between my medium teal to express the turning form, and top it with the lightest teal to represent the thinnest part of the wave where the most light passes through. Now we get to paint in the part of the wave that's folding down and crashing over itself. I start by using my warm white to show the foamy parts of the water that are catching the light. I continue to wrap this white around the top edge of the rest of the wave to make it look like it's just about to crash over. I then use a mixture of light and dark blue to paint in the parts of the sea foam that are in shadow. I then use my medium teal to paint that top edge of the wave turning over. Then I use my light blue to fill in the rest of the background, which completes my first layer. My second layer is all about using shadows and highlights to express the water, like we did in my How to Paint Water video. I also add waves to the background that get smaller and closer together the further away they are. You can even add some details to the ones that are closest to the waves you have in your foreground, if you'd like, while using small shadow shapes to further express detail. Lastly, I go back in with my warm white and continue to express the choppiness as the wave crashes down. And after all that hard work, you have yourself some waves. I hope you like it, and as always, thank you so much for watching.